My next question is, are you still doing that podcast about food? <laughs> Is that still going? Yeah, we, we dip our toes in now and again. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> good. I just Keep say, can up. I say, uh, I watched Rosie's, Rosie's episode <laughs> last week and just thought it was fantastic. I thought I'd come back this week and do one. Um, and you'd see Richard, he's so good when he's like interviewing and he's asking serious questions <laughs> and funny questions as well. But it was like the interview felt like it had real heft. And I'm always on fucking second at these because <laughs> I know what he's doing. He's holding in all his silliness and like disrespect for the guest and just can't wait to get me on. <laughs> you had the running question on um, on the Amer was it on the American uh, off is it called off menu? Off menu, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> never, never catch on. Um, there was about uh, you asked all the American people if they'd met iced tea, is that right? And they if, all they met... pick, if they picked iced tea oh, they picked as a it. as a drink, we'd yeah. always ask them if they'd met iced tea, and they normally had. Yeah. Yeah. Have you yet met Ice T? Not met Ice T. I mean, no. he's, he's, if he's listening now, he's welcome on, on off menu anytime. Good, yeah. I've had him on um, one of my podcasts. Have you? Yeah. Which, which one? You would be. You wouldn't guess. I think even if you went through them all, it would be your last guess. Not Stone Clearing. It was Stone Clearing. I was wrong. It was your first guess. <laughs> Ice T. I think is the only other human being. <laughs> been, was he just been happened, my... to, happened to be walking around the field? <laughs> he did, that's yeah. <laughs> He was clearing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was putting him back on, actually. Yeah. Uh, he was, uh, for some reason, it was just when Cameo was, had started up and yeah. going out, and I saw he was on Cameo, and I think I'd mentioned him. He'd come up in, like, my mad ramble. Yeah. And so then I, <laughs> I got a Cameo of him saying, wishing me good luck about Stone Clear. <laughs> so he did quite a long... Did a quite, quite a long... It was a good value Cameo, so I've sort of yeah. met him, and he's been on one of my podcasts. You've not sort of met him, Richard. <laughs> I've, I've that's, not, that's, the, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. I got Cammy off iced tea. I've sort of met him. We're friends, I think. <laughs> I've interacted. I've changed his life yeah. a little bit more than you've done to Ice T's life. That's true. Yeah, I've not yeah. changed. I, I'm disappointed to say I've not changed Ice T's <laughs> life. You wouldn't think Ice T would do cameos, which is the lot. He's sort of. I was sort. Of, he's one of those people I was surprised to see on there. He seemed too good to be on. Yeah, and also cameo. I guess quite a, quite a controversial career in, yeah. in the world of music. It's, you know, the, the famous song "Cop Killer," of course. Dear Ice T, my dad's a cop. It's his birthday coming up. Will you <laughs> say that you're going to gun him down in South Central? <laughs> anyway, good. Um, you have some quite. You have some quite. See, not bothering to be a good interviewer anymore. <laughs> No good interview. Every bit we've done that's worked, he's then ended the momentum by going, right, good, and then, like, putting his glasses on. Right, what other fucking bullshit can I ask this guy? You have, you've had, you have had some quite good guests on, on your thing. Yes, we yeah, have. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. Who's been your favourite one of all? <laughs> <laughs> Who's been my favourite one? <laughs> These are such good questions, Richard. <laughs> You don't ask me where I get my ideas from. <laughs> you have genuinely asked me that before. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I, I have a terrible memory, so when we record an episode, if it, if it comes out longer than a month afterwards, I can't remember anything about it. Yeah. But uh, we released an episode last week with Na uh, Nabil Abdul-Rashid, okay. uh, and I think it's one of my favourite episodes because he is an incredibly informed and knowledgeable man around food and very funny as well. Okay. Did he had Tom Hanks on? Not had Tom Hanks on, okay. no. Has, has he been on the snooker one? <laughs> <laughs> We're best friends. I watched Big. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it'd be good. I reckon it'd be good on... You should act, try and get him on. We should try and get Tom yeah. Hanks on as well, yeah. Yeah, try and get him on. I might try and get him on this. Yeah, well, I mean, by, by, all, by all means try, <laughs> Richard. You get good people. I get people like you on mine, and you get quite good people on yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, do not think that that's lost on me, Richard. <laughs> So look, this is um, this is a book club podcast. It's a bit this is a bit classier. Oh yeah, it has been than, so far hasn't it? <laughs> than, the, than the regular rounds yeah. <laughs> where we talk. We talk in thank you. We talk in depth about the uh, the book you've written. You've written a, like a sort of like an Ed Gamble annual, isn't it? That you've written. <laughs> <It's> 
fucking book club. <laughs> when you, you said backstage, you went, it's going to be a book club. And I was like, it's not, mate. <laughs> yes, it is a bit like an Ed Gamble annual, yes. <laughs> Take us through that thought process, it's, Richard. It's mainly pictures of you in funny hats. You just feel the... <laughs> It's just because just I padded out with word searches. <laughs> it's uh, called Ed Gamble Glutton, mm -hmm. the multi-course life of a very greedy boy. It's, about... it's not called Ed Gamble Glutton. Ed Gamble is the name of the author. <laughs> <laughs> what you've done there is you've read the whole cover. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that's the name of the author. <laughs> Like th this, but this book here, uh, updated with bonus questions. It's called "Brilliant Richard Osman Hilarious Dawn Friend Richard Herring Emergency Questions." <laughs> Fucking hell! I mean, even the title is genuinely too long. That's... Um, it's good, but it's good, Ed. You've done a good job. Well Thank done. you. Um, it's <laughs> that's it. That's the end of the book club, is it? <laughs> I listen to an audio book. That's how I ingest most of my books. Yeah, fair enough. Um, it's very good. There's a very good extra on the on the audio. Of there is talking to Nish Kumar. Talking to Nish, yeah, because there's a lot of a lot of stuff in the book about my university days, and I went to university with Nish, um, so I thought he'd be the perfect person to chat to about the book, uh, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Why? 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 <laughs> Why did you write a book? Why? <laughs> How many of these book club ones have you done? <laughs> Why did you write a book? What was that? What was the thinking behind well, that? Well, I felt like I had a lot to say about food and my yeah. life through food. That's what I was going to ask. Oh, here we go. Why did you write about your life through food? Because <laughs> I felt like I, I was thinking... About, well, obviously, I do a lot of stuff based around food anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it, it's a market that I seem to have found myself in career-wise. Uh, and it's just been, you know, part of, part of my general uh, daily life, as it has been for everyone before you say it, yes. <laughs> uh, but it's something I've been obsessed with for a long time. It's a huge passion and also... There's stuff like type one diabetes and weight loss is all connected with the food as well. So I thought it was a, it was a good angle for a, a, a sort of semi autobiography. I know what it's like to uh, have diabetes now because um, I did that Zoe thing. Yeah, I fucking hate this. Zo <laughs> I mentioned you. I, I heard you mention this. Yeah. This Zoe thing is absolute horseshit. It annoys me so much, right? Yeah. You put a thing in your arm yeah. that tells like you your you blood do. glucose level. Yeah, so I know it's like yeah it's cultural that. appropriation. Is what it is. <laughs> Do you know why you don't need that? Because you have a working pancreas. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need something to tell you what spikes your blood glucose level because your pancreas will then produce insulin to reduce the blood glucose level because you have a working pancreas. Bit of fun though, isn't it? It's not a bit of fun. <laughs> it's, it's not a bit of fun. It's not a bit people... <laughs> I can't believe my blood glucose has gone up. All I've had is a punnet of grapes. <laughs> You only Genuinely do it for, makes me angry, Richard. You only do it for a couple of weeks. I haven't got it anymore. You haven't got it anymore. No, no. And has it changed the, way, changed the way you've eaten? Yeah, well, you know, it has. But mm. you could equally just say, stop eating processed food and eat some vegetables. Yes. That would probably do the same job. Yeah, I think but so. But it does, it, no, it is, I think it is quite good. I've lost like, I lost like 10 kilos almost straight away without doing any, without trying. Right, but I was quite fat, as you you know, as you were, as you say. And the secret of <laughs> secret of losing weight is to get quite fat first. Yes, and then just change what you're doing. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then the weight drops off. Hang on, when quickly. were you quite fat? I was quite well. I was before I, I go up. You know me. I go up and yeah, down. I can't keep up. I got I, I got thin. <laughs> I got I was fat. Got cancer. Got thin. Not because of the cancer, because I was being healthy. Then I got it crept up again. Yeah. And then I, and then it's gone back down to where I was again. So. So is your one of your weight loss tips is get cancer. Yeah. <laughs> get cancer and then think about you are not wanting to die. Yeah. That's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a good thing. And that worked for about a year, and then I started yeah. eating crisps and chocolate again. Because yeah. <laughs> they're nice. And then I've stopped again. And cool. now I've stopped. I've started eating, like you talk about in the book, I've started eating dark chocolate, mm -hmm. like 90%, 100% chocolate. Yeah. Uh, but, but does that mean you eat less? Because no, I eat way more chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I basically trained myself 
I was eating the ninety percent stuff and being like, oh, you only need a little bit because yeah. it's so sort of strong and, and so bitter. Cool. And then I trained myself to be able to eat a whole bar of it. Yeah, I can pretty much do that. So yeah. like my mum used to put that stuff on my nails to stop me biting my nails. Oh yeah. And I mentally tricked myself into enjoying the taste of it. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, give me some. Where's the bottle? I'm going to have a swig. 